All right, so I think I've seen some other YouTubers do something like this where they do like a JavaScript quiz. I figured I'd just do it for, for right now. Um, I'm kind of running out of content ideas, to be honest. I'm burned out on coding. I'm burned out on working on stuff. So I just wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. And there's a JavaScript quiz on w3schools.com. By the way, if you have any other suggestions of like where you can do these like little quizzes, let me know. Let's just try it out and let's see how bad of a developer I am in JavaScript. Inside which HTML element do we put the JavaScript? We put it inside the script tag. Does it tell if you get it right? I guess it doesn't really tell you until the end. So what else? What is the correct JavaScript syntax to change the content of the HTML element below? EID is equal to demo. This is a demonstration. So if we wanted to change the content, in my head, I think you want to use inner text. Um, you can also use inner HTML. So we want to get element by ID, where the ID is demo. Set the inner, yeah, I'm going to do this one right here. What document? Yeah, I think this one should be good. Question three. Okay, these are a lot of questions. Let's, what is the correct place to insert JavaScript? You can do it in the body, and you can also do it in the head. As far as correct, um, it depends on when you want it to like execute. If you want to like put it in the head, and you want to put like a defer on it, so that it doesn't actually start running until at the very end. Um, yeah, but if you have like a third party script you want to import, typically it's done in the head. I think they're both correct. What is the correct syntax for referring to an external script called xxx.js? It's probably, I think it's a source one. I always get these confused. I think it's source, script source. Yeah, okay, let's just do it. The external JavaScript file must contain the script tag. Uh, that's a false. I don't think the external JavaScript file needs any script tags. It's just JavaScript. I'll do false. How do you write hello world in alert box? I think it's just alert, hello world. Okay. How do you create a function in JavaScript? Okay, this one's pretty straightforward, right? It should be function, the name of the function, followed by some parentheses, and technically you should probably have some curly braces and actually declare like what's inside the block of the function, but I'll go ahead and do that one. Uh, click next. How do you call a function named my function? You just invoke it with parentheses. Okay, next question. How to write an if statement in JavaScript? Well, you have to have the parentheses, I believe. So let's just go ahead and do that one. Seems pretty good. Probably want to use a triple equals, not a double equals, but it's probably fine, whatever. How to write an if statement for executing some code if i is not equal to five, okay? i is not equal to five, there we go. Might have answered that too quick now that I think about it, but how does a while loop start? Uh, you probably do it like this. How does a for loop start? Okay, so this is some really basic elementary stuff for JavaScript. But I do think it's cool to kind of quiz yourself. I was hoping there'd be like more challenging questions, but this is like, this is some of the basics, right? So if you're a beginner, you should be able to go through this and have no issue, kind of like I'm doing, um, to be able to consider yourself like kind of well versed in the syntax. But how does a for loop start? Well, it's usually three parts. So for i equals zero, i less than five, i plus plus. This one seems pretty accurate. Go ahead and do that one. Make sure I'm not jump the gun too fast. But yeah, that should be good. How can you add a comment in JavaScript like this? This one's actually for HTML, so you might get kind of thrown off by that one. I'll just go ahead and do the double slash. You can also do slash asterisks, and at the end you can do asterisk star, and that's like a block comment. All right, how to insert a comment that has more than one line. Okay, so we just talked about that last one, so it's this one, the star slash asterisk, and then asterisk slash. What is the correct way to write a JavaScript array? Okay, this one down here. Always use the brackets, and then you have commas between your elements. Seems good. Go ahead and click Next. How do you round the number 7.25 to the nearest integer? Uh, I think it's just math.round. There we go. That should do it, I hope. How do you find the number with the highest value of x and y, math.max? Okay. What is the correct JavaScript syntax for opening a new window called W2? Well, I think it's just window.open. I think that's how you do it. JavaScript is the same as Java. That's a false. Got five questions left. I have, I've gone in for four minutes. We're doing some good progress. How, do you, how can you detect the client's browser name? Ooh. This one I actually don't know. Uh, nav name, app name. Browser.name. 
I don't know, honestly. I don't think I've actually had to write this in a long time. I feel like browser.name would be the proper thing because like client and navigator, I don't remember those being uh, like on the DOM as globals, but oh well, let's just see. Which event occurs when the user clicks on an HTML element? Um, on click? I think it's on click. Man, I haven't written like vanilla JS in so long. I'm so used to React to like, surprise I'm even getting half these things right. Uh, how do you declare a JavaScript variable? Okay, well this one's, <laughs> this one's basic, right? You could do var and then the name of it. Surprise, I don't even quiz you on let and const here. Which operator is used to assign a value to a variable? Uh, equals, okay. What will be the following code return? Boolean greater than, or 10 greater than nine. So this would evaluate to true. Boolean of true should give us true, I think, right? And then is JavaScript case sensitive? Um, yes. Dang, I got one wrong. Okay, so which one did I get wrong? Does it even tell you? Check your answers. Probably that, that one with the, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, it's it's navigator.appName. Cool. So that's the one thing that <laughs> I, I struggle with the most, um, but everything else, I mean, this is, all, this is all basic syntax. And if you're trying to learn how to use JavaScript, I think that you should probably be able to like ace this test before you dive into like learning React or anything. Like this is some of the most basic JavaScript stuff and you should probably have this stuff memorized in my opinion. I mean, most of it, math.max and math.round, maybe not memorize that, but at least know there's a math utility function. Uh, some of the stuff like this, like, I don't know if you need to memorize that, but anyway, if you guys want to watch me do more quizzes like this, I'm just trying to diversify my content a little bit. I'm burned out on just coding all the time. So, you know, doing a quiz is kind of a nice change up from what I normally do. If you guys like watching me breeze through this, uh, let me know. I might try to find a harder quiz because this quiz was just too beginner. Um, I didn't really do research. I just Googled for the first quiz I could find and I clicked on the link and it take me, took me to this site. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. But if you guys have any other suggestions of like quizzes I, I can take um, to challenge myself and if you guys want to see me struggle with harder quizzes, leave a comment. Le leave a, uh, a quiz suggestion. Maybe I'll take it in a, a video as well. Anyway, I have a Discord if you ever want to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers or just get some help. And uh, like always, I have a newsletter below that you're welcome to subscribe to where I plan to publish some more tips and tricks about JavaScript and web development in the future. Have a good day and happy coding.